So here's the million dollar question. Is this a Casso V50X better than this $139 front-facing Brave 7LE? Let's talk about it. Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Ken. Thank y'all for coming back for yet another review. Today we're going to talk about what I just talked about earlier is, and a lot of emails that I got is, should you upgrade to the Brave 7LE if you have the Acaso V50X? Now keep in mind, one is $99 and sometime with a coupon on Amazon, $89. And this brand new, uh, not limited edition, but latest edition, Brave 7LE. So let's talk a little bit about it. So I shot some videos earlier today and I'm going to show you guys that. And we're going to focus on two particular things. We're going to focus on image stabilization and we're going to focus on picture quality and when i mean picture quality i'm talking about colors and things of that nature things that, are, that are you see pretty much every day when you're shooting with these particular action cameras and let's talk about stabilization before we jump into the video first off i went out and i went to the park and i actually shot these videos and i actually tried my best to actually put them in a traditional position where stabilization wasn't that good so you see a lot of jumps and you see a lot of uh stuff that doesn't look right it wasn't because of the camera it was because i act well one it is because of the camera but two is because i actually was walking fast a uh, little bit of running and i was walking up hills and i was walking in different places because i wanted to make sure the stabilization was a part of this particular review now I got, i'm not gonna lie to you one actually outweighs the other but i'm gonna let you guys tell me which one you think look better and which one you do you think has the better stabilization so without further ado guys let's jump into the video right now
All right, so let's talk about the videos that I shot earlier. Now, to me, in my particular, my opinion, one was better than the other. Now, I did do a lot of movement around, so I wanted to make sure that I actually got that in the video. Uh, but two, uh, the one that has a better picture quality. Now, to be honest with you guys, a Castle V50X is my favorite action camera. I do like shooting with the uh, Bray 70 LE uh, because of the front facing uh, screen. But you know, I want you guys to tell me which one you decide. Now keep in mind, the stabilization on either one of these cameras are not better than your GoPro or your Osmo Action. But I did want to put these two action cameras to the test and actually walk fast, change position. I was moving hands and I was actually also um, walking up different things just to make sure I can actually get an unstable situation just to check out how the stabilization was in both action cameras. And that's something I didn't do in my re initial review of the Castle V50X or in the review of the uh, Bray 7 LE. So I'm just going to end this particular video. I want you guys to tell me which one do you think look best, which one do you think has the better stabilization, and which one do you think you'll continue to use if you are using this. And if you're not using this, which one you think you prefer to have over the other. So all right guys, this is gonna wrap this particular video up. I really do appreciate you guys for joining me. Don't forget to uh, check out all the information I have listed down below. Don't forget to leave some comments on which one of these, these two action cameras you think perform the best. I really would love to, uh, to dive into some conversation with you guys in between these two action cameras. I really do appreciate y'all for joining me. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like, check out all the stuff I had listed down below, like I said earlier, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a good day.